Okay, now this is our conservative approach. We don't have too much space on this table. So what I'm doing is uh, program the robot uh, motors to use uh, as less space as possible. So the initial thing is the robot is making rounds around the table until spotting something there. It just uh, makes rounds. So there's a the ball and the robot starts following the ball. The, ro the ball is being lost and the robot makes rounds around the table. Now there is something. The ball is moving towards here and the robot turns to occupy the least space possible instead of following the ball. It follows the ball only as long as the ball is right in front of it. Okay, let's remove this thing. Follow the ball. Now, it really interacts in a way that the ball is continuously followed. And this is um, the conservative approach. I can also program these robots to do a, new, a bit more offensive and um, follow the ball at all times or make a different um, uh, detection round this is just the idling round it tries to find something and there's the ball follows the ball or the ball is right here so it tries to reorient it so it will stay in front of it the ball is here it tries to reorient it again The guy who's impressed. Who's impressed? Yeah. <laughs> Why yes is the question. <laughs> the sound won't be in the final bit. <laughs> we can say anything. Okay, so that's to prove that I managed to do something that follows a ball. Or, you know, find the ball first without using too much space.